you know, we just had some, we went to our uh, ISAC things and I was there and decided to run different, different uh, class things and some were good and some were not so good. So. Do you have the legislative agenda for ISAC electronically? You can go on the website probably not. Okay. Yeah, I, I probably brought a paper copy home. I'd have to look. Okay. Um, we are planning on having that transportation day at the Capitol on January 26th. So uh, we'd like to have it as many county and county engineers, cities, and everybody uh, come and talk to the other League of Cities and certainly I chat. Basically, I think our message is going to be you passed the Time 21 legislation two years ago. With funding, <laughs> you know, to help everybody. So, cities, counties, and primary. So, yeah, it, it was pretty. Uh, as far as the indications of what they are expecting, that are just really people just don't know. Okay. I mean, until things get moving. And it's probably attached to the county issue as well as I believe the cities. It, it has been for a long time. I know the governor-elect talked about it a little bit. Um, that, that's such a difficult thing to get movement on. Sure. Uh, Who knows say, now? Huh? Yeah. So we have 36 new legislators. Well, 34 brand new ones and 30 and two that are coming back in, I think. So that's two hours and I can't think of the other one is right now. Did he win his race? Yeah. I wonder what they spent on advertising. McKinley Bailey. So. Oh, we don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah, campaign reform could happen in Iowa, couldn't it? But there'll be a lot of education with a lot of new people. And then uh, as far as the department, I had a conversation with the lieutenant governor like about how important the, the appointments were that they made to these main departments and and they my my point was that, that they really needed to do their homework as far as getting people who had experience in the field and um, because of the distress that they have financially. Sure. Um, and the big part of that, uh, if they don't and they're not successful at getting people who are experienced in the field, it takes them six to nine months to learn uh, how it works. You know, and so. You knew Nancy Wilson resigned. Yeah. She planned on resigning in August, so. And the, her husband is the DHS head. Mm -hmm. But Meyer. he's not going to resign. Well, today. but he will be replaced. Well, yeah. uh, that's my opinion. On the highway, highway sub, when this gentleman are here, you know, we made the, we have time to ask some question why they're not doing more dirt moving over by Highway 4. And, and, uh, and, and then an east bend, uh, what their contractor strategy is. Because when I, I, yeah. when I came south of uh, Neem, I went up to Neemah on Friday and came back. Oh, they 50? Yeah. And I looked and I'm going, holy cow, right? <laughs> well, they're, they're doing some dirt work up on the hill to the west and they're putting a big, and I'm just going, why aren't they working north of Lytton where it'll be a swamp mix? Well, I don't understand the theory. TJ Moyne, what's his name? TJ Moyne? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he would, John he would, Bennett, yeah. he should, he'd probably be the, they, I told Rick and Jack, I didn't go down, and I was studying, I went out by the Norman Jess place. Yeah. And they were moving to play Friday. <laughs> and uh, to get that abutment done for them. Bridge. Yeah, because Highway 20 will go under 320, or is it 220? Whatever that is. 230. 230. 230, yeah. yeah. It goes under that. And they were, they were moving, and uh, they're packing. So, and I think that, you know, it looked to me like the, the abutments on, on uh, the Raccoon River were kind of done. They were telling me the other night at the restaurant that they thought that bridge was going to be 800 foot long and 60 foot high. I said, really? Because <laughs> I haven't been out there to look at that uh, one. So. The, the uh, embankments on N14 look like they're pretty well done. Yeah, so they're, yeah, they they're well done. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which road you want to take? Do they still have two county roads closed up here? Yes. Is that permanent? No. Well, no. We're hoping not. 
<laughs> I got we're trying to get them ready for winter. Question about that again last week. We, we did too, and, then, in fact, if you remember, I said something to Ron mm -hmm. last week or the week before, and because people were done harvesting, he allowed them to close two that were together. Yeah. Xavier and something else? Yeah, it's the two over. Between Linton and Chad, yeah. yeah. And the, the, the concern is, he's by allowing them to do that, he's hoping that they get the 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 things built up so they can go across for the winter. Yeah. They, yeah. they told us December 1st that we were trying to hold off for the weekend, so we still were, we're still uh, waiting. I know, I... Well, we'll find out more today, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> they were only doing what they say, three miles a shoulder. You know, I told you, well, that's what Ron told us three weeks ago. Yeah, but, um, but then the guys said that they thought the shoulder work was done, and they were connecting, you know, so they made a connection more like We so. were, we come that way on Southern Montana City, and, and they still have significant work to do right by morning. The, the connection road for what's now D20 yeah. uh, doesn't appear to be any. There we go. Um, yeah. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been over there, so. Not over there, plus. Plus. They, when they we met with them again, they said December first was their date, and I, you know, we were trying to wait until Friday or Saturday to have a congressional, you know, like them and uh, came there too. So ants on their tail all the time. So our luck will be clearing up woods or or as cold as it was at night. Right? When you went there, did you have to go on about 69? And we had yeah, it, it's kind of a when. When they've been doing that all the whole time, I, it really wasn't obvious to me how they're making their connections. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, still but, not obvious to me how we're going to do I it. I thought, you know, maybe if you flew over in an airplane and looked down, you could figure it out. They I, didn't. I don't get they it. They didn't detour on 169 on Monday when I went over. You didn't have to go around like you were going into Port Agent or so? On the old 20, you had to go down to 169? No. Then back. No. no. Where'd you go then? Went to that. They were working on that Moreland. Interchange thing, yeah. but they routed us right up on the four lane. Oh, did we, they? We didn't. Well, we didn't. Yeah, it was just. Well, they worked all weekend. I think they're not going to stop. I guess I was surprised. In they didn't fact, go home. we went Tuesday night, and so pull up there in the dark, and it, yeah, <laughs> you kind of wonder if they're using it. Is. I mean, it's not. I wonder if they're keeping up their crew. You know, said if you had a hundred, approximately a hundred people working, I wonder if someone are gone now for the winter. I don't. John went and looked for the photos for three days a week for the next three weeks. So I think they're yeah, going to be. That's what Cora, yeah. Cora said, yeah. the manager of Boulder said yeah. that she talked to some of the younger guys and he says, as soon as we're done here, they go to the Dominican Republic and then they come back in the spring and he calls them. Is that right? You know. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to so they're actually, you know, the ground isn't frozen, you know, there's some things that, you know, they're dirt moving. And, and they're, you know, they dig the, they're digging into that clay and, you know, they're just increasing that as fast as they're digging it out. Those big dirt movers that they had, when I came from up north the other day, and on the M50, they were hauling it across their 50. I mean, they had to a flight man out there stopping, you know, like, you know, I bet they were they empty going. Uh, that'll all be replaced when they make the, the cross. So. And we're concerned about all of our power lines. <laughs> We've already had a disaster. So. Um, yesterday morning we had a huge crew, like 15 or more trucks out at, at Hostings across from, like, they must be doing some significant work in the American did up there. Well, They've been doing a lot of reconstruction. Before that, where, yeah, where at though? Where are they working? Because I, I don't know. Well, see, they, oh, I've seen them like when I came south early. They were they were doing not storm damage, but they were rebuilding the line along M50 on uh -huh. the North of Highway 20. They were, I mean, it wasn't repair work. They were they were scheduled from last year. I, I talked to a board member on, on Calhoun County RC, and, and he was um, they were really uh, disappointed that there had been so many hoops to get through for their FEMA stuff that they didn't get. They're just now letting line re, uh, contracts for line replacement. That took all this time to get, to be able to let, to
to replace lines up in Newtown. Wake you with this, you know, I talked to one of the guys last week when they were working on our lines. He said that the beam was really <coughs> slow. They're really having trouble getting their money out of the beam for the last January. So that must be, you know, well, Jim, the manager from Franklin Valley called me when I was in Florida and looked for something and said, you know, how do I get home? Oh, I, I need, you need a disaster declaration again. And I'm like, oh, geez. So, starting off for what? For all the lights that went down, all the bill lights. That, they had that much Well, That's I haven't talked to Jim, you know, Bill Lenners directly, but one time it was over 50 poles that they were replacing in Lake Hughes. Well, they have 77 miles, I think, being done back. 